Okay, hello. Here we have our first uh, mono black suicide hand. We're a little bit land height, but we can find the swamp with that. So I guess we keep. Okay, our opponent is on on a cantrip deck, so I think we fire off the consultation main phase. They were on counters. So we say swamp obviously and get our swamp. Exhale some random some random stuff. Nothing nothing of the combo here that I put in to my friend's list since the list had some cards which were not on Magic Online. So I guess we we kill that with the brutality and also discard something to do rest I guess. So I guess we discard the chain of smoke and see uh, what we have to Play around. So he has a chain of his own, he has a ponder, he has a back to basics, a blood moon. So next turn he can drop his back to basics, which can be annoying. Guess we Yeah. Hope we find a swarm soon. And hope when he doesn't play the, the back to basics next turn we can do it. He would be like uh, on two lands, I would be on one. Okay, he goes for it. It's also Blood Moon. So I guess we just do rest him now, get his currency converter, and wait a bit uh, for later stuff to discard. Our, our deck has not very many lands, but it has a lot of basics and it can function on very little mana. Okay, opponent finds the Delva. We need to... Yeah, we get our land. So I guess we... I guess we just play a random dude which get bounced. And then we can maybe sacrifice our land and bounce it back to basics to slow him down a bit. Okay, he's not scared. Let's see if he wants to... To the chain of vapor play in our turn it seems like that so as it stands now we can demonic thoughtsies or the bob i think we try to get a little more mana and thoughtsies in. so now we will like chain of vapor most likely and we will just cut the blood moon but that's okay He's forced into doing it now. Okay. Doesn't chain of vapor, surprisingly, since the blood one doesn't do a whole lot. Finds a force of will, okay. Guess we play the underdog into the force of will if he wants to counter. There's a blood moon now. Okay, now he has only force. This means we just play the, the, the dark confident, I guess. Oh, we can play both. Wait. Just, we just slam our two drops. And start the race. And I think that now he seems to be in a position where hard for him to get out. Wasteland doesn't do much. Okay, now he wants to trade, which is okay. Yeah, just we just offer the trade with the Dark Confident and play two more creatures. Sure. Exile some random random stuff. No. Doesn't really matter much. I 
we see us uh also for again and yeah we're next turn so my friend always says that uh with the suicide uh deck he has a good matchup against tempo decks not sure but this draw seemed like that We have a mock start with some disruption, some removal, some reanimation, man lands, I guess. It's a good hand. I mean, we need to have like faster creatures than this flip creature. Maybe we can discard like a Tamagoy or something and reanimate it. Oh no, he doesn't play green. Maybe we find something else like a young Pyromancer or something. Otherwise, we. We have to get our slow creature with the blip of the of the enchantment here. Yeah, since we maybe want to play Mutter Wall turn two, we start with the the Hive Tyrant, uh, the Manland thing, I guess. So let's see what's up. And so, oh, we can get the Ledger Shredder. Let's get the Ledger Shredder. I think we exile our Wind Artisan and get our Bird Friend or the Bird Betrayer, <laughs> which he feels like now. Now, like his bubbles, etc., are a little bit taxed. Uh, yeah, our two drop. We'll get spell snared most likely. But okay, he sees the two drop here. It's a bubble. So I guess we let it let it run into a counter. Maybe not now, maybe we like wait until we can double spell to like tax him a bit and also um have our shredder trading uh triggering so you just say go it goes for back to basics which is fine since we have like two more basics So I guess we just gain two life here. Or we can also, or maybe, maybe we should have like plus two, plus two, sorry. I forgot about this mod on this, this card. So you should have had like two life less, but so now he has like Snapcaster, Island, or Snapcaster spells now, which we know about. There's a Margos on top, okay. Okay, I think now we do the plus two plus two thing. Question for three and play our grip breaker. And keep up uh, this card folder for him. So we don't play our lands. Like Snapcaster, Serum Visions or something for him gives us this uh, Ledger Shredder trigger. But maybe he's surprised into doing it if he doesn't find like a true removal. Okay, goes for this line. So I think we just cut our ugly swarm. Sorry for not caring too much about it. So yeah, we get our knife. So now we have our second zombie in the Jirai's Messenger. This one is not a zombie, so yeah. Maybe drawing card with script breakers on on the horizon. Scries one top, one bottom. 
So I guess we take three. Sure. Okay, now we have four creatures in the near future. We can even like play this one, which is also something. Oh, that's a really good, really good top deck. So yeah, we even get our knife in. So it was an awesome top deck. He loses two from the trigger. We hopefully hit a spell for the shredder. Awesome. Now we can take for two and draw cards in the near future. Yeah, that hand really turned out turned out well. Yeah, now our opponent has to has to think like what gets him out of this. Maybe Sweeper would do it. I'm not sure. Goes to the Alpha Swing. So this indicates removal. I think we still trade for the. We still block the Woman Courier. Since we uh, force him to act this way. So maybe he has like an Arc Trail or something. Or like a Fog Bolt. Yeah, Fog Bolt. I mean, getting this back will. Would cost like summer mana. So I think we keep this. Swamp up as discard fodder for the shredder and just surf and pass back. For our six value, we we pass priority or we just like you know, this was a looting. Needs to play another spell, which is good for us. Ah can get us on Shredder back, so yeah, let's see what we find. Find the gutter bones, which we can bring back. We lose his life. So we can uh, play this one. I guess we just cut the gutter bones, we get it back anyway. He gets a shredder. And we can even uh, sack a land and bounce it back to basics. So I guess we do that. Now we can like do the same to bounce our mox or saga creature. But this unlocks our, our lands here. This way, if we like. No, he doesn't do it. Okay, let's see if we can finish the game here. So it seems like he has to trade against uh, um, the messenger, which means for us that we can get back our one drop. So we just crash in here like a maniac. Maybe he goes for a double block on the two or three. So he loses life. We get back our two one. Um, like the gutter bones. I think we think we do this. Back to basics, expressive iteration. So we yeah get rid of the iteration, and now we have the option if we want to let him loot. Yes, spell snare. Back to basics. So I guess we let him do that. This way he has to find another creature, otherwise he's dead. He discards uh, back to basics most likely since he has the uh, Magus anyway. And now our team is up against like random creatures or uh, burn spells. Discards the uh, spell snare, okay. Still into the back to basics somehow. Yeah, maybe it's good since we can find the, the removal. Okay, he finds his creature. We can even play the back to basics. Sure. So now we have to find some removal, brutality, ace threats. The shredder is too big to overwhelm in, in combat now. And we are both top decking. Find the dread fuke. So we can attack, then he eats this one. This one trades, this one dies. Or he goes like this and double trades. So I think we still have good attacks. Since we have the gutter bones and the two three. Sure, goes for this line. So now our muter vault is unlocked. Uh, 
Yeah, you still go. He doesn't find anything. Yeah, this way, this is always dead on board. Just activate the Mutter Vault and you will concede. Or not. <laughs> sure. 